This short video will describe how protégés join Mentornet. They begin by going to the Mentornet site and clicking on Join Mentornet. They provide an email address and a password, indicate they want to be a protégé, and click on the link to review and accept our user agreement, which includes our codes of conduct and our information and privacy policy. We then send them an email and they click through to validate it. Students are required to verify a .edu email address. If their primary address was not a .edu address, they are asked to provide one as a secondary address and it is validated. If they are unable to do so, there is an alternate process to join. We provide instructions for filling out the profile and you click next to proceed. The process takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. The student provides their name and a tagline. They need a paragraph about themselves and this student went over to LinkedIn to copy theirs and bring it to our platform and provided a picture. They're next asked to give employment information. If the student doesn't have work experience, they can click next to proceed. For each question, there's an information bubble which provides background information on the question. Next they're asked about their university and major. They can enter more than one if they've worked on more than one degree. We ask what country they live in and for their zip code as well as for their country of citizenship. They're then asked for their level of education. This is the primary characteristic that drives discussion content from our site. We ask about their field of study. They are able to provide more than one in case they have dual majors, minors, or areas of specialization. We ask if they are members of any of Mentornet's partner organizations. They are asked about any special topics they might want to discuss. These are centered around unique challenges that are faced by many students pursuing a STEM education. At this point, we ask a series of demographic questions, including their gender, whether they're first generation to college, their ethnicity, and their race. In each case, they are able to indicate that they prefer not to report. They are asked if they attended a community college and what languages were spoken in their home as a child. At this point, the questions shift to asking the student about their preferred match partner. We begin by asking what degrees they'd like their mentor to have. We then ask about their mentor's field of expertise. You can see they can specify as many as they'd like. At this point, the profile is complete and the protege is ready to do training. Our training was developed in partnership with OD Score. We were able to adapt their training for industrial clients. Proteges are required to complete training on an introduction to mentoring and goal setting. A third module on boundaries and expectations is currently being developed. After they finish training, they click on a link and return to the Mentornet site. Questions? Feedback? Contact us at program at mentornet.net. Joining is simple. Do it today.